Hello friends. Today I wanted to share a process video of a leaf thread painting pattern that I just released. And I took a few clips of me embroidering it and I wanted to share it with you. In this embroidery, I'm using a five inch beechwood embroidery hoop and some cream colored linen. And I'm just using a Frixon heat erasable pen to transfer the pattern over. And then I also use my Nurge embroidery stand, which I've been loving lately. I've tried out a bunch of different stands and I know I've made a video on stands, but this is the one that I found recently and purchased and I really, really enjoy it. So I'll leave a link to all the materials I'm using down below. I haven't been sharing as much on YouTube, but I am going to try and make a goal and a larger effort to share more consistently on here because it is something that I really enjoy doing. So moving forward, I'm going to try and post once a month on here, at least maybe if I can, I'll start to post a little bit more frequently than that, but I felt like I should start with a lower goal first <laughs> because I've only posted on here a couple of times this year. So we'll see how that goes. I'm looking forward to sharing more of the process behind some of the embroidery patterns I'm making and potentially some pet portraits, but I just really wanted to share my favorite style of embroidery, which would be thread painting. Um, I haven't really shared much on here about my thread painting patterns. I've done a lot of beginner friendly patterns and while my thread painting patterns are all geared towards all levels of embroiderers, they are a little bit more complex and complicated. So I did want to create one that's more of kind of an intro to thread painting if you're not quite ready to spend hours and hours on you know a thread painting pattern this one would be amazing it only uses three different shades of green and it really allows you to practice blending colors together and I tried to make the instructions highly detailed so that if you've never even embroidered before you should be able to do this pattern with ease um, I really enjoyed stitching it and I think leaves are a great place to start just because the shape is rather simple and you're not having to like change directions a bunch with your stitches. So if you'd like to check out this pattern, I will leave a link to it below. Otherwise, just enjoy the process of stitching this. <laughs> 